you know, the, the strange thing, as I think uh, was made clear in Press Commons lecture, is that because of the rules, really it was a much less personally significant uh, role uh, than almost anything else I've done on television, because we really were, uh, I think Alison Stewart used the expression, traffic policemen. Uh, and really the whole purpose of the debates was to get the politicians to interact with each other and we were facilitators of that, uh, if you like. That said, uh, you know, in my view it was using the medium to do what it does best and so it was very important. So my mm -hmm. concern uh, obviously was that it went uh, extremely smoothly and it achieved the things which we claimed in advance it would achieve. What effect did, do you think, the, to sum up the, the debates had generally, do you think they had a big... On the well, I, 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 from our point of view, yeah. the most important thing about the debates, and, and John Riley actually said this right at the beginning when you know we started the leaders' campaign, reform the negotiation, leaders' debate campaign, for the negotiations. Our starting point was twofold. First of all, we felt the public were disillusioned with politicians and politics, and secondly, we felt that debates were the best way of increasing engagement of the public, certainly the best way we had at our disposal. So that's why we wanted to get the debates, and I think uh, we did achieve that. I mean, I, I you know, accept this research, anecdotal evidence, I think there's no doubt that the debates increased people's political engagement. Did they actually distort the outcome? I think it's very difficult if, if you, to say that they did necessarily, and actually you know, if you increase the engagement across the board, you wouldn't necessarily expect that to change the outcome. Mm. What I would say is that um, it probably raised the three parties up as credible mm. uh, political forces. And in that sense, it may have made it more possible to have a coalition when you got uh, an uncertain result. Uh, but whether it actually affected that result, you know, the interesting thing is if you look at the opinion polls, despite the way they moved during the campaign, the opinion polls going in and at the end are actually quite close to each other. And so in that sense, they almost solidified people's impressions rather than uh, changing them. And finally, as I know you're a busy man, uh, what was the preparation like for you behind the scenes when you were preparing to host it? What kind of things did you look at? and? Well, the, 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 to get across the, the, well, we did a lot of rehearsals on the technical mm. timing, making sure I could see what was going on, how to bring people in, uh, even you know down to what was the best way of interrupting or moving the debate mm. on. The the thing where we at Sky put in the greatest effort, and I believe it showed in the quality of our debate, is that we spent a lot of time going through the questions, going back to the questioners grooming the questions in that sense to make sure that we had a really focused menu of questions that we could get through and we were actually you know we had more questions in the room than we mm. took questions from and mm. during the course of the program we were actually saying well that issue's really been dealt with already so we'll drop question two and we'll go on to question four <laughs> you know and that was how we could apply our television expertise if you like.